Inclusion advocate Anthony Frazina has spent years making us aware of what's accessible and what's not to people of all abilities, and now he's written a book. Anthony joins us this morning with more on Above and Beyond. Good to see you again, Anthony. Good morning, Annette. Great to see you as well. I have to tell you that you have changed the way I look at so many things around our city because I know that um, I, I remember at the beginning of the pandemic, remember when uh, people were putting those stickers on the floor that had the two feet? Yes. And I remember you posting something on your social media about, okay, not everybody stands six feet right. apart, right? So now I'm, I, I see different spaces all over, different stickers all over the city. And I always wonder, did Anthony have something to do with that? So good, good on you. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, we did actually have the, the city change that at uh, the HSR on Hunter Street. They had initially the, the feet as uh, their marking system, but you know, I pointed it out to them and they made the change. Right, right. And, and you're just changing the way so many things happen around you. So, so tell us about the book, Above and Beyond. It's language and communication. Above and Beyond is simply my life story that is comprised into short stories similar to the Chicken Soup for the Soul type of uh, series, kind of chronicling my journey to date, uh, the ups, the downs, everything in between, but also talking about amplifying your voices, being part of this community and not being afraid to ruffle a few feathers just to make people aware you know, that people with disabilities are equally as important as in Hamilton, one in, po one in five people to identify with a disability. Mm -hmm. And it's all different abilities, right? Different abilities, visible, invisible, permanent, uh, temporary, it encompasses all that. Right. Are, are you still up at Mohawk? Are you working at Mohawk? I am. And uh, actually, you know, we are part of the working from home team. So uh, I am working from home as part of the pandemic. But uh, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting change uh, when it comes to everybody now, you know, used to going for, to work, but now working from home. Right, right. And, and I know that you did a lot of work at Mohawk it, your, it, itself when you, in your job there and, and as a student there, making people aware that, okay, not everybody gets around the same way, not everybody sees or hears or communicates the same way. Yeah, Mohawk is essentially my second home in terms of, uh, you know, being there since 1999 as a student and then growing up to, to where I am today. And it's, it's really been a huge part and a huge... Uh, opportunity for me to um, to continue to go forward with the accessibility uh, piece. Right. That I and what's the main message that you want to get to people with the book? Uh, what the book is about um, just understanding that people uh, with disabilities are people first. You know, it's, you know, look at the person. You know, we want to open the door to conversation. We want to open the door to answering questions, having that conversation to lead to awareness, to lead to the importance of working together in hopes of a collective prosperity so that all Hamiltonians and all people with disabilities can prosper with everybody else in the world. Right, so that people seeing you would see you not as a, a man in a wheelchair, but as a man. Absolutely, the person first messaging is, is so key to what I do in the community. And as part of the book, I've developed what I call the MICE principles, not typically spelled M-I-C-E, but M-I-I-C-E-E. -E which stands for motivation, innovation, inspiration, celebration, education, and empowerment. Okay, that's awesome. And where can people get the book? Uh, it's available on my website, so people can go to www.anthonyferzina.ca, and all the information is there to purchase it. Okay, that's awesome. We'll put that information up on our website, chch.com. Anthony, great to see you, my friend. Great to see you, Annette. Thank you.